Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Distiller Scoop. My name is Kevin Herrig, and I'm Technical Services Director for Poet Nutrition. Today, we'd like to talk a little bit about fiber and distiller's grains. This is a question that we get quite a bit from, from our producers, and one of the, these areas is that we're, we're focusing on a lot more from a research standpoint here at Poet Nutrition, because we've noticed a lot of differences between Dakota Gold and non-Poet DDGs. So before we get into that information, let's first talk a little bit about some of the terms associated with fiber. Fiber can be con very confusing because there's so many different components that we essentially consider as fiber. If we took a look at the total DDGs, typically we're about one third of DDGs is considered fiber in one respect or another. One of the terms that we use very often uh, regarding fiber is a term called NDF. So NDF actually stands for Neutral Detergent Fiber in Distiller's Grains. And typically we're right around 30% in any type of DDGs. So um, that's when I said, you know, about 30% of or a third of the uh, Distiller's Grains is fiber. This is what I'm referring to. Now NDF comprises two different fractions of fiber. Primarily it's cellulose and hemicellulose. So cellulose is that portion that's not readily available, and, and hemicellulose is the portion that is a little bit readily available. So this measures both cellulose and hemicellulose. If we're looking at just measuring cellulose, then we can measure the ADF. So we can do a sequential analysis in the lab and actually just come up with an estimate for our cellulose that we're, we're using or measuring um, in the fiber. So by difference, NDF is always going to be higher than ADF because NDF includes both the cellulose and the hemicellulose. Another fact or measure that you'll often see quite a bit is um, crude fiber. Now crude fiber has been around for a very long time. Uh, one of the disadvantages of crude fiber is it has very little nutritional value. Um, although it measures similar amounts of cellulose and hemicellulose, it only measures a portion of each component. And as a result, we really don't get a true characterization of the fiber when we're just looking at uh, crude fiber. As a result, you'll see a lot more of the industry moving towards NDF and ADF. So from a research standpoint, we've investigated this relationship between Dakota Gold and non poet DDGs. We looked through the research, and one of the things we found with ADF values is that Dakota Gold actually contains about four to five points less ADF than non-poet sources. So as you can see by the graph, when we compare side by side for each of these different studies, that much less of a, of a fiber content for the Dakota Gold. Similarly, when we look at NDF, we'll see approximately about a seven percentage difference between POET and non-POET uh, non, um, uh, DDGs. Now these were the same studies, they just reported the two different fiber values. So what does this uh, tell us in the end? Uh, number one, it tells us that Dakota Gold has less fiber than the non poet DDG. And from a, from a nutrition standpoint, this is important, especially when we're looking at applications for the, for the monogastric species, in which fiber is a, as a main limiting component for, for how much uh, DDGs we include in the diet. If we can keep a little bit of fi lower fiber, we can include more, have additional cost savings, and still maintain performance. The other big factor is that uh, uh, response from these two figures is that not all DDGs are the same. We can clearly see from this response that, that POET does have a unique DDGs because of lower fiber content. We relate a lot of this to POET's uh, BPX process, which um, uh, in some cases actually retains some of the endogenous enzymes in the corn. And we feel this converts some of the fiber um, to ethanol, and in the result, lowers the fiber concentration of our DDGs. I hope you learned a little bit more about um, fiber and DDGs. Once again, my name is Kevin Herrick with Poet Nutrition.